Ryder Cup qualification for the team next year at Bethpage started two weeks ago. At the start of the back nine at the Betfred British Masters. Tons of power. Oh, but getting it in the fairway, we heard the little ah. Out of fairway, and just leave yourself a pitch to the green. We know this one goes a little bit left to right as it loses pace. Disappointing five for the long hitting Dane. Exactly the word that was in my mind. Disappointing opening par. Rasmus Hoygar, birdie putt at five in she goes, underground. The first, first birdie of the day. At six, this is for back-to-back -back birdies to climb into second place alongside Jordan Smith at five under. Clear at the padding green. Goes the second one behind. Rasmus Hoygar. Beautifully done at nine. Nice birdie. You'll be thinking, not again. Why can't I quite get it done on a Sunday? Ball off the tee ended up in a lady's handbag. They've uh, rectified the situation. And second for Poigar, and he holds it from up on top of the hill. Look out. Man, he's within two of the lead, and well, he's a proven winner. Four times he's been in the winner's circle. <laughs> As much like uh, 12th tee, par five. This one's going to get a seeing two. But find the fairway. Oh, did it ever split the fairway? Smooth down up left. Sweet drive. Yeah, I got it pretty much straight off left. Rasmus, we got second to the par five. Looking for an eagle. Beautiful strike. Just sublime. Oh, no, he found? into a little dell. The line looks okay. Not so bad, all in all. Chip it in. Chip it still. A little spine in his way here. He's landing towards the front edge of the green. The strike was good. That was the distance. Ah. Hi, Gar. Oh, chance to get to six under. Oh, yes. Maybe three under the last four holes. That's not an easy putt. It's a tremendous effort. But that was an untimely stray shot off the tee for Rasmus. I don't think we've seen anybody get the ball to the hole from that position on 13 green. So slow up the hill. Wind whipping off the left here from the elevated tee at 14. 212 yards. Sit. Sit. 
You lose it on the wind. Oh, a good bounce and getting better and better. Whoa, could that bounce right there have a say in the outcome today? It's been a little harsh on him. We saw the great bounce off the mound to the right at 14. This to convert to get in a tie for second. He does. He's got the power to easily reach 16 and 18 and two. From 222 yards out, Rasmus Hoygaard into the 15th. The hardest hole over the first three days and still the uh, hardest hole on the course. Safely to the heart of the green though by Rasmus Hoygaard. Yeah, the yard is going right, don't you? That big bank. That's a pretty darn good shot. I think most players would take it right there in two. To the one that uh, Dan Brown came close to holding. Yeah, he'll be happy with that. Deep bunker. But on the upslope, which is a huge help. Get your body at right angles to the slope. He can throw this all the way to the flag. It's not going to run anywhere if he pitches it at the hole. Nice, nice. Right, well, actually played it with a lot of sand and got it to run out. Up ahead, Rasmus Hoygaard to tap in. We saw the bunker shot. This is going to be for birdie. He moves to seven under. Very soon, he could have a share of the lead. Well, Rasmus opting for the iron. Good play this. Three would, would be too much going down the right. Yeah, catches that down slope, but it should come up shy of the waste area. One was a Danish winner the last time we were here at Royal County Down for the Amgen Irish Open. Soren Kelson won it in a playoff. Only five players that week finished under par. Two under was the winning score. Yeah, that was amazing. That was a tough week. That was so many people out here. How exciting a playoff would be today. Oh, that is a bad miss there. In my mind, he pitched it whole high, forced it way up into a narrow little back portion that he was trying to hit to. That was, I think that was a mental mistake there. Pitched it probably 10 yards too far. Just on the absolute here for Rasmus. Two and ten, you would fancy holding from here. Oh, and he has! Rasmus Hoygaard with <laughs> an outrageous birdie. Two in a row, he hits the front. Second pull out of the back nine, let's not forget, at the par three tenth, he hold a wonderful pitch shot from up above the level of the green. It, special things happen sometimes when you win. Helped a little by in slightly on the upslope, but what a beautifully played shot. Yeah, just a couple of deep breaths, just slow the heart rate down a little. And just keep it smooth. Oh, right, whoa. that's the danger. The thrill and the excitement can easily. Club never slowed down, accelerated all through the hitting air. What a shot he's played in there. That's going to feed off a little bit on the slope, but a great position. And he's going to get a read as well. Fabulous shot from the rough. That's what all the gym work is about right there. Hoygaard. Remember, he's birded 16 and 17. Yeah, that's a good putt. That is a good putt. You don't want to do anything silly. Give it a, give it a, a chance, but... Three birdie finish for Rasmus. And a 65 on Sunday, so he sets the target at nine under par. 
you wouldn't know those fans are rooting for the other guy, would you? Tremendous applause for a tremendous player. There's the answer. That is just a wonderful goal shot. Well, come what may in the next few minutes, mm. that shot will do him a power of a good. For Eagle at the last, and a playoff. So close. But it's another Viking victory here at Royal County Down. Nine years ago, it was Soren Kjeldsen. Rasmus, first of all, congratulations. You're the 2024 Amgen Irish Open champion. I mean, how can you summarize the emotions for us right now? I don't know, to be fair. Um... Yeah, it was a, it was a hard watch in the end, um, but again, it's uh, I had a number today that I tried to reach, and that was eight. Uh, so, <laughs> obviously, coming coming in and, and finishing on nine was uh, was gold. But uh, yeah, it's I'm so happy. It's been uh, yeah, it's been the game has been trending for for a while now, and you know, to to get this one is uh, is massive. I guess you had some magical moments out there, didn't you? That pitch in on 10, but also holding that bunker shot on 17. How pivotal were those moments for you? Yeah, obviously there on 10. Um, got away with a, with a good lie. Um, thought I hit a, a great uh, chip there. Maybe it would have been five, six feet past, but then uh, there was a flag in the way. So, in 17, I thought... You know, I was a bit worried I could be plugged in the bunker or whatever, but uh, coming up to an uphill line in the bunker gave me a little bit more confidence uh, that, that I could get it up and down. So, And then to hold it was obviously, uh, yeah, that was key. I think you probably confirm that watching golf is maybe a little bit more difficult than playing it yourself, right? Especially in the last few moments. But for you, you've got plenty of goals uh, up for grabs. You've got the Ryder Cup points, but also wanting to join your twin brother out on the PGA Tour. So how momentous is this victory? Oh, it's... You know, it's couldn't come at a better time. Um, some, you know, some great events uh, at this part of the season. So, uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'm a step closer to my goal now, and um, yeah, can't wait for what the rest of the year has in store. And finally, of course, overcoming this victory and also beating Roy McIlroy at Royal County Down is such a huge statement in itself. So, how much confidence does this give you for the rest of the season and the upcoming goals you've got? Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a big confidence boost. It's um, you know, I, I knew it was going to be hard to, uh, to, you know, battle with him and, and the rest of the guys out there. Um, obviously, seeing that, he, seeing he made a bogey there on on, on 17, obviously changed uh, everything. Um, but again, it was it was um, it was tight all the way down to the to the last part. So, yeah, it's been um, it's a great boost for me for the rest of the year. Well, Rasmus, that was an incredible performance. So congratulations on being the 24 Amgen Irish Open. Well done. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.